Godan ruled out load shedding, reducing it to occasional stage one power cuts. Did, did that instill a little bit of confidence in you? Absolutely not. Uh, as far as I can see, this place is still being run by amateurs and uh, they're relying on information which they themselves have declared deficient. As far as I can read, he's actually putting the country more at risk of a total meltdown. ESCOM's financial crisis is a lot bigger than we had previously thought. 250 billion rand anticipated shortfall over the next three years. The NYPD hearings, the NERSA hearings earlier on in the year, there was a, it was evident that at that stage already, there was at least a 50 billion rand hole. And now it's much bigger because of the additional burden of maintenance. You know, you're talking to people who have not run this utility property. You're now expecting them to pull magic out of the air. Do you think it's realistic? I mean, is there any... No. Any opt no, you don't. No. You can't dictate the load shedding uh, levels. That the system will tell you how much you need to load shed. And the system's operators need to shed more. And they don't. We will have a grid meltdown. This is serious stuff. Let's, let's look at um, Kusile and Madupi. 250 billion so far, and those costs must And, and escalating, spiral. and escalating. They have to, I mean, they're our, going to. I forecast to. each one to cost more than 300 billion by cost to completion. In a terrible state. Uh, if I can give you an analogy, it's like buying a car that's marked to go to 100 kilometers an hour. Madupi cannot, at its best, get to 60 kilometers an hour, and Kusile, at its best, cannot get to 20 kilometers an hour. They don't even know how to fix it up. They messed it up in the first place. For the cost of three days load shedding, you can buy adequate power barges to put more than four gigawatts onto the grid. Political uh, decisions no, and nothing... No, political decisions and greed, because there was no way South Africa was uh, ready to build four power stations in 2008. Mm -hmm. One fell by the wayside because of political squabbling, and that was the nuclear option, and the other three got built and got messed up. Each one of them is running at more than 10 times, or will run at more than 10 times the world average cost for a similar power station. Let's talk about aging infrastructure. The oil transformers, they need an oil change once every seven years, and then they run forever. So this uh, organization cannot even do an oil change once every seven years.